What's up to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world? This is your boy Jehoshaphat. I know y'all really can't see me because ain't no light. It's still real early in the morning time. The sun haven't came out yet, but about to start my surgery at work again once early in the morning time. But I got this one topic on my mind. It's car accidents. Now, the last time my car got hit by somebody, the lady came, the lady came when she when she hit my car because she merged in the traffic. And she hit she hit the front part of my car, right? Now when the accident happened, we pulled over and whatnot. And I called the police, you know what I'm saying? So I can get some good documentary on what happened. And um the police came out and automatically they start taking this woman's side i'm not gonna i'm not gonna throw race in this because i don't believe every situation that i go through is racist you know what i'm saying i don't even look at the world like that when you come across a racist person you will know it you know what i'm saying you you would know it so i, I don't look at like that oh just because this woman is white she races i don't look at life like that y'all but back to the situation and i gotta be real quick hey she she got out her car and she started saying oh sir i'm so sorry i hit your car oh i'm so sorry it was my fault i'm so sorry now when the police got there she started automatically pointing the finger at me you see the righteousness in some people and whatever this woman told the police the police came at me foul disrespectful and the police officer was telling me it, it the situation escalated so much that the police officer was sitting there threatening me talking about oh oh you know i can arrest you because you don't have your 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 id right now i was searching for my id in the car i couldn't find it and he was he was giving me the business and then i had to tell this officer hey man i called you this woman didn't call you. I called you up over here for help. And when I told him that, he fell back and he calmed down. Now this new situation at hand, I just had to throw that one out there. That was my last time getting hit. But in December 27th, I was coming back from the grocery store and my car was hit. Now the accident happened on the 27th. I did my reporting and I, and I reported what happened and what not. But this woman, she still has not told her own insurance company what happened. It's like she trying to avoid it at all hands now. In the situation when this lady hit my car, I, I know how scandalous people is. And that last lady who hit my car, not only did she hit my car and get, get away with it, she tried to sue me for the damage of her car and the damage she was claiming fifteen hundred dollars worth of damage on her own body and then another twenty five hundred damage on her car now this situation i can only look at it i did i did all the righteous things a person could do in the situation you know what I'm saying i took pictures i I, I explained the situation to both of the insurance companies to my best abilities and you got to understand some accidents you're not going to be able to get out these accidents you know what i'm saying you can only hope for the best that you and your family is not hurt in the process of people driving all erratic and like i told the insurance company i can't put it on one pacific type person you know what i'm saying it, it's a good driver and old people it's a bad driver and old people it's a good driver and young people it's a bad driver and young people so i don't look at it at that standpoint either you know what i'm saying some people are just horrible drivers drivers and now now okay it's the 20 that happened to me on the 27th today is the fifth now i can only sit back and wait for these these two insurance companies to come together and get my car fixed my car looked ugly now after that lady hit my car y'all it's all toe up and the bad thing about it i'm not the only one who's suffering in this situation i got kids y'all when this lady hit my my car one of my doors got a big hole in it you know what i'm saying a big gap it's winter time it's cold as hell all i can tell my kids is when you drive in the car with daddy make sure you put on some good clothes and some good covers and and, and bundle up because it's a cold you know what i'm saying anyway we gotta go it's cold but check this out y'all out of all the accidents that I have been in, I try to get out a lot of accidents, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't like this this hassle right here of what I'm telling y'all about. So avoiding accidents at all costs, I am. I'm trying my best, but some of these accidents you will not be able to get out at all. And you will be tied up with this bull right here fighting, fighting these little battles trying to get 
your stuff back or trying to get something done right to you. You know what I'm saying? So the best thing I say to anybody in a, uh, a car accident, hey, take pictures. Try to get a witness. Call the police to tell them so they can come out and make some uh their own little record, even though that might not help. Because that first incident I was telling y'all about, I called the police. I'm the one who called the 